Hi, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. Today, let's talk about installing an outlet. I can't believe it. I'm 84 videos in and I'm just now getting to wiring up an outlet. Crazy. That just goes to show you there's a lot to consider when dealing with electricity. But if you're watching this video, you may not care about all that. You just want to know how the heck you wire this thing up. Let's get started. When replacing or installing a new outlet, you want to make sure it is tamper-proof. This is code now. A tamper-proof outlet will have these plastic inserts placed inside the outlet so you can't stick anything in there and accidentally get shocked. They only go in when you stick something in at the same time, like your electrical plug. First, turn the breaker off. Next, if you have two wires or less in the box, then you don't need to do any pigtails except for the ground wires. Make one ground wire long and one short. Twist the two wires together, bend the longer one over the shorter one, clamp down one time using your linesman, and twist the wire nut on. Make a loop at the end of the ground wire using your pliers. Twist this loop onto the ground screw. For best practices, always make sure you wire the ground wire first, then the neutral, then the hot. Always put the loop on the screw the same direction the screw will tighten down, clockwise. If you don't, you'll be fighting against yourself and may cause a loose connection. Next, you want to do the neutral wires. The neutral wires will go on the silver screws. They should be on the same side as your ground screw is on. And just like switches, there are these holes you can push the wires into if you choose to. Choose not to, please. Over time, these wires can loosen up and it could become a fire hazard. Make sure you make your loop and wrap it around the screw. It doesn't matter which wire goes on which screw because the two screws are linked together by this tab in the middle anyways. Next, you want to install the hot wires, doing the same thing. This time, the loop will be facing up because you are on the other side and clockwise is this way. Again, it doesn't matter which screw you use. After you're done, you can wrap a piece of electrical tape around the screw terminals. This is especially good to do if you are installing the outlet into a metal box. You don't want the screws to touch any metal. Now you just screw the outlet in. Put your finger down on the wires and make an S shape as you push the wires back in the box. The ears on here are to help you get the outlet flush with the box. The ears should be flat against the box and leave enough slack on the screw where you can tap the outlet with your screwdriver to make it straight. Visit thevirtualelectrician.com to schedule a virtual electrician for more help.